Okay, in this tip, we're going to show you how to save your calendar as a file. We're pretty much exporting it, and that way you could send it to somebody else, either on a flash drive, email, file share, and they could open it up on their Outlook, on their computer, to see what meetings and appointments you have on yours, and you could specify by date um, what you want them to see. And so this process may vary a little bit based on what version of Outlook. So I got Outlook 2013 going here. So the way you do it is once you're in your calendar, go to File and Save Calendar, and then browse to where you want to put it. I already have a location here, and name it whatever you want. It'll probably just pick the name of your user, and click on Save. And now it's telling me that for this date, 821, I don't have any of any events. So do I want to change the dates? Yes, I do. And so I'm going to choose to specify dates rather than do the whole calendar or a certain week. And I'll go to October since that's what month we're in here. Pick the first and then to the 31st. And then if you go down to these options here, um, it'll, well, actually first, if you go to availability only, it'll change based on what you pick here. So availability only will show just the titles like you see here and it won't be able to give you any details. And there's limited details and full details, which will show everything that you have in your calendar on their calendar when they open all the details and the date and time attachments and that kind of thing. So if you have any private events and you don't want them to be displayed on their calendar, don't check this box. But if you don't care if they see your private items, then check this. And then if you have attachments for certain meetings and you want them to transfer over, then you can check this box. So we're going to click OK. And so that's done. So now let's say we're on the other computer and you want to import it into your calendar. And this will also import into Outlook.com, by the way, if you have an Outlook.com calendar. But I noticed when I tried it that it tended to merge the imported calendar with my own calendar rather than making it two separate calendars. But then maybe there's just something I missed. But anyways, we're, we're talking Outlook to Outlook here. So anyways, when you go back into the other Outlook, just go to Open and Export, Open a Calendar. Double click on the one that you copied over there. And now you'll notice it brings it in and puts it side by side with your calendar. And you'll notice mine is the same, obviously, because I imported and exported to the same computer. And so if you know want to just toggle back and forth, you can just uncheck the ones you want to hear or click on the X up here. And that way you'll have both people's calendars and just view it that way. And then if you're done and you want to get rid of a calendar, all you have to do is right click on it and delete calendar. Make sure you're deleting the other one, not your own one. And say yes. And everything's gone and you're back to normal. Simple as that. Thanks for watching.